to bark for uh, for Kushmaini. It very much has turned into one, though, because he is going to line up on the outside of row one here as the championship leader by 40 points over the man alongside him. Caleb Frederick really must beat the high-tech Grand Prix driver in this one to try and close the gap. 11 laps of racing. Round number 14 of the BRDC British Formula 3 Championship is underway at Donington Park, and Caleb Frederick makes an excellent getaway from pole position. Kush maybe should hang on to second place, and Sassagon Chiman goal. Diving up the inside of Ulysse Depau into Redgate Corner. They almost make contact. Thankfully, they avoid it, and Depau will hang on to third place. Nazi Asman going around the outside of Reese Ushijima there for uh, fifth position, I think that was. So Ushijima's had a good start. He started on the fourth row of the grid, but they are all safely through Redgate Corner. Asman fends off the high-tech car, and Kushmani goes for the race lead down in the old head. And Kushmani is going for it. He is attacking Caleb Frederick, the top two drivers in the championship. Kushmani is alongside the Carlin driver. He's got the inside line for the right-hander at McLean's, and he goes through. Fantastic racing between the two of them, and Kushmani has got the early advantage key and Jewis is off the road with a damaged front wing, I think, there uh, in the background. The front wing is still there, but he's definitely been delayed in all of that. But it is Kushmady that has the advantage from Caelan Frederick at the front of the field. Caelan Frederick will be kicking himself for that. He left the door open into the old hairpin, and that was the only invitation that Kush needed. And the ball pressure from the cars behind as well. It was uh, Kushmady, though, who, having taken his first victory of the season at Brands Hatch last time, uh, made it a second win here at Donington to extend his championship lead as we now head to the next rounds at Snetterton. We hope to see you there in a few weeks' time. Kush, you said yesterday that uh, when it came to a bit of a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle, you weren't going to hold back, and you certainly didn't. That was an exciting move on the first lap there. Yeah, I knew I had to get him on the first lap because it's too hard to fall around here. Got a good start, thankfully. Put him under pressure into turn one, uh, which messed up his run down to down to Old Herpin. Got to run on him, lunge him into Old Herpin. He kept around the outside, uh, and then wheel to wheel, McLean's break really late, and he had nowhere to go, so got the move done. Really happy. And it looked like you were able to control the race from there and pull out a decent margin. Yeah, I think um, uh, when you have fresh air, it's, it's a lot easier to drive. Um, and yeah, I just put my head down and and enjoyed the drive. I uh, didn't really push to pull away. I literally just just wanted to enjoy the drive and it was really nice. And now a strength and championship advantage heading to Snerton. Yeah, uh, obviously still like way too many races left, so we're just going to keep up this form. Cheers, Gus, well done. Thank you. We'll